Paul? Yeah. Oh, we should we should say we've got some exciting news coming up. As you know, as hashtag continues to expand. <gasps> Roll the clip, monkeys. Here, Paul, Mario, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. No, you shouldn't hear that. You've chosen wise. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you're cool. <laughs> you, I'm out. Go with that. All right, somebody woke up in a mood. Oh, <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> what happened to our show? Guys, this is why we can only see each other once a week. You get no orange slices after soccer <laughs> practice today. What's up? I see draft picks. Well, you know what they say. Genetics, Pee Wee. <laughs> I can't stop that. That's the end of the episode. <laughs>
I get frustrated now when players make the Pro Bowl because it triggers higher options in their contract if they were rookies. Yes. Like, it's frustrating. Like, yeah, Edmonds made the Pro Bowl. Great job, Tremaine Edmonds. You did a good job. Way to go, Bills Mafia. Way to vote for him on Twitter. You also cost us $5 million <laughs> by voting for him on Twitter because that's how much his contract went up. Like, it was some – it might not have been exactly five, five mil, but it was, it was enough to piss me off, I'll tell you that. I was pissed off. He's so in tune with the cap. Pissed oh, off. Man. I've been more worried about – Getting pissed off. <clears throat> That's from. Why did you? What are you, Henry Hill? If I was that close to a horse's wiener, I'd be worried about getting pissed off. <laughs> what is that? That's Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh, God. Are you in the obscure movies that you decided to Obscure call? movies? We're talking Mel Bro- Man, I don't know if I can be in this car much longer. Quite. This is the date of that football. movie. That's <laughs> what date is currently. <laughs> You talk about things that are irrelevant when I talk about sports. <laughs> 20 years, it didn't count. Yeah, if it happened 20 years ago, it doesn't count. That's absolutely correct. Hashtag sports is now partnering with MyBookie.ag. Bet, win, get paid with MyBookie.ag using promo code HTS when you sign up. That helps out the channel immensely and gets you a double of your first deposit up to $1,000. This is the best and simplest website you can find for sports betting with live in-game betting or even betting the bills to win the Super Bowl. You want to do that? They've got great tools to tell you how much you'll win when you use promo code HTS all at mybookie.ag. Milano's deal extends two years past Edmonds possibly leaving because he's got this year, he's got next year on his fifth year option. Yes. So is there anything in the in the linebacker room now that says maybe we don't extend Tremaine Edmonds? Now, granted, no. he would be a free agent at 23. I, so That's so stupid. I, I know. <laughs> How the hell? <laughs> that's what happens if you come into the league at 12. Like, <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so it, – Tremaine, Tremaine, Tremaine for his next deal Tremaine, when guys come into the league. You know? Tremaine was just months into having his night license <laughs> when he was a first-round draft pick. Oh, Remember, Drew, got to be in by 9 o'clock. <laughs> got to be in by 9. Is there anybody in the linebacker room right now that says? No. God, no. I, I don't, don't think so. I mean, in the linebacker room currently, let's just, okay, since we didn't do this before. You got Milano, Edmonds, Mikhevich, Smith, Dodson, Klein. So those are the six you have right now. I think we saw already the preview of if Milano goes out and Klein is in there next to Edmonds. Don't like that. No. Andre Smith has potential, but he has the potential at linebacker that Williams has at running back for the Bills. I mean, you have – like You don't know yet. Right. Until it happens. I mean, you have two – Special teams linebackers and Smith and McCamage. You're carrying two special teams linebackers in your sex. So I'd imagine one is not going to be active on game day, right? McCamage will be active. He'll probably be a captain on special teams, right? Andre Smith will probably be inactive. So on game day, you're probably dressing five. Was Tyrell Dodson drafted? Uh, I thought he was a UDFA. Okay. Which is weird because, I mean, we talked about Tyrell Adams and Markel Lee. Like, how are those guys not on this roster as far as linebackers? Right. Cause, yeah, because they're only carrying, like, four actual linebackers. And mm -hmm. A.J. Klein is not an actual linebacker. Let's just let's be real. Okay? Can, can, is it a fair assessment to say that he's, he's the replacement for Lorenzo? I think that's kind of the role that you shift him into at this point, he, right? He's only moving forward. Best Everybody loved AJ Klein when he got into blitz packages. Yeah, but you didn't get to see that much last year because Tremaine went out, right? Tremaine was banged up, yeah. and then like you, you it started at the Seattle that. game, right? That's when it started, right? And you didn't get to see what they wanted to do with AJ Klein because he had to actually play linebacker, right? <laughs> but now you're carrying six defensive ends, you know, like. Huh. Do you even need that role anymore? Is that role even prevalent anymore? Yes. Why? 
because you're only you're not going to put three defensive ends on the field at once. You're not putting three DNs and uh, two DTs on the field at once. I mean, I think we can ask the Houston Texans what happens when you put a defensive end at linebacker. Hey, listen, Mario Williams was a good Buffalo Bill. That's how we got him to Buffalo. Let's, yeah. How let's amazing would his ACL have been if he didn't play linebacker? <laughs> yeah, he's like backwards. What's this nonsense? What do you mean run backwards? You have a guy that is in Houston and then goes to Miami. Both of those are three, four derivative defenses of Bill Belichick. And he's still unemployed. Are you talking about Bernard McKinney? McKinney. Okay, I want to make a case for Bernard McKinney right now because, one, is free agent. Two, he could be on any team's practice squad. Buffalo definitely has a spot for him. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're carrying six linebackers, okay? Andre Smith, special teams linebacker. Yes. Tyler McCavich, special yes. teams linebacker. A.J. Klein, don't ask him to cover anybody. Mm -hmm. So now we're down to three. three of the six linebackers. Three of them will actually have linebacker-esque duties. Now, I know, Bills fans, I know and I love you so much. And I know a lot of you are saying, but Minkiewicz looked great in the preseason. No. Don't. You will be disappointed. You will be disappointed. Yes. Can, yes. I, can I interject? Please. Um, in 2008... You guys remember the Detroit Lions went 0-16? Yeah. yeah. They went 4-0 in the preseason. So you're saying the preseason doesn't I mean, matter? I'm... I hate the preseason. Minkiewicz is an interesting case study. Because he's like the Rudy of linebackers. Right? Rudy of offsides. Just ask Joe Montana. <laughs> I am most concerned about depending on a player like McCavage for depth. I, I guess I'm more comfortable with Andre Smith as linebacker depth in that respect, but he doesn't have much more NFL linebacker experience than McCavage does, if, if any. So, like, you just you start peeling back the layers of the onion and you're like, okay, wait a minute here. Maybe we're not as deep as the, wow, we're carrying six linebackers. We must be set at the position. Well, if you're only playing two of them, and you feel like you're going to be a nickel majority of the time, then it begs the question, well, which probably takes us to another episode, unfortunately. Unfortunately? Bro, we're out. Where, where are we right now? We're just passing Kaz Creek. Anybody got a GPS? You think they'd carry more defensive backs? Like, well, they're only just carrying six linebackers. Right. And they're not. Right. <clears throat> but you have, as our discussion yielded earlier, they draft athletes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm going the right way. They draft athletes. So if Milano happens to go out, you got Poyer there. This is why you have Hamlin and Jaquan Johnson back there, those two freaks. But I mean he could. You could put you you could put Poyer next to Edmonds for a game or two. You know what I mean? You could survive like that. Yeah. Yeah, you could survive. It's not like ideal, that. but no. you have the athletes to do that. But you had just mentioned, you know, we talk and maybe my criticism of the linebacker group doesn't align with the last episode that we that we cut because we had said there that teams are, might look to run on Buffalo, limit those possessions. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty confident Andre Smith will do just fine against the run. He will. I'm pretty confident AJ Klein will do just fine against the run. So maybe that linebacker depth isn't as big an issue because of how teams will try to attack Buffalo. Yeah, and, and, and you, you look at it, we talked about it last year. Um, I think it was just after the Seattle game. We talked about AJ Klein was leading the team in missed tackles. Mm -hmm. And I said to the hashtag nation, we should take that as a positive because he's in position to make all those tackles. Right. Some guys that you have that are young or inexperienced or whatever, they're, they're not in position to make those tackles. They may be better athletes than Klein, but Klein knows where to go. Right. So in essence, 
his his experience and knowledge of this defense is why he's still in line, mm-hmm. which I'm fine with. Uh, you okay? Uh, you need some tums? AJ Klein gives me heartburn. I'm not going to lie about that. It really does. Kind of gives me heartburn. Listen, all I want is Bernard McKinney.